portfolios are folders for your projects that you can assign your team members to. You can have these portfolios have specific names and that is maybe what orients all of these people and projects together. So in this example, we have our client projects and our client portfolio and we have Emily, Carlos and myself assigned to that portfolio. So if I were to create a new project in this portfolio, unless I specify otherwise, by default, us three would automatically be a part of it. I can add a new member to this portfolio right here. As an owner or an admin, I can create entirely new portfolios, whereas a team member can only create projects within the portfolio, and that's how you do that, create a project within the portfolio that they're assigned to. So I could have someone assigned to, let's say, just IT implementation here. I can invite them directly to this project without, let's bring in Angie, for example. So we've invited Angie. And Angie is part of the IT implementations project, but she is not part of the client's portfolio, which means she only sees this project. She doesn't even see who else is in this portfolio, and she cannot name this portfolio, or cannot create a project within this portfolio. If I want to change the name of this portfolio or add more people to it at large, I would go to manage portfolio right here and I can control who else would be in it. So maybe I do want Angie in all of those projects. That's how I would go about doing that. And if I wanted to create a new portfolio, I would go to that add portfolio button here and I can name it and invite who I want to be in that portfolio. Every team has a general portfolio by default, which has all of the members of your team automatically invited to it. You can't change that, you can't rename this portfolio. So if you wanna create custom portfolios that have more privatized information, that's where you'll need your owner or team admins to create custom portfolios with this button here.